abelian groups are just commutative groups in number theory. Uh, the ones that concern me were z sub n, where z sub n is the collection of integers from 0 to n minus 1. So in z sub 7, it would be numbers 0 all the way up to 6. Um, and the operation that we're concerned with is addition, which is before modular n. So in z sub 7, any two numbers have this sum that is the remainder when divided by 7. So in z sub 7, um, 5 plus 6, which would be 11, is actually 4, because it's modulo 7. So the property that we're looking at is the sit-on property. And at its basic element, it's looking for a subset, the greatest possible subset, such that no ter two terms have the same sum as another two terms. So for example, in Z sub 7, 1, 2, and 4 are a sit-on subset because 1 plus 0 plus 1, 2 plus 4, et cetera, et cetera, all have different sums. And so now, um, Working off of that, what we look to do is generalize the maximum possible sit-on subsets for various n. And so right here is the Mathematica code, or the results that would pump out. We use brute force to find this. Um, and it would tell us any possible subset, the first possible subset it found, if it existed. And so from that, we generalize these results that for a given n, we found the maximal, subset, maximal size of the subset. Um, unfortunately, we could not find a formula to always produce a set of maximal size, but we did find a formula to produce a set that was sit on. Um, in fact, uh, the pattern that starts arising is actually the Fibonacci sequence minus one, which is kind of interesting, and that makes the Fibonacci sequence itself sit on um, by very nature. Um, and that sequence can be applied to give sit on sets, not always a maximal size, though. And we did use a, another method to find sets of maximal size called the greedy algorithm. That would just take the maximal, uh, it would just take the next best case. Um, the unfortunate part about that is it's not predictable, and, but it does produce sets of maximal size.